which of course I'm not gonna because that would dedicate brain space. Hello everyone and welcome to E.T. the Extraterrestrial. Some of you may be thinking, but you already did E.T. for the Atari 2600. That's because this is the Game Boy Advance version. Of course, most of you probably already realize that because there's no way the E.T. the Atari 2600 could display graphics like this. Now, I've heard this game isn't that good, but hopefully it'll be less crappy than the freaking Atari 2600 version. We shall see. In this level, you play as E.T. You are an alien botanist traveling to different worlds to study their plant life. Having just arrived on a small planet, you must begin your study and collect samples. When you have collected all of your samples, return to your ship. Well, it's got shots from the actual movie, so it's clear that they actually watched it. So maybe, maybe things will be better, right? Uh, that's an interesting water effect. It reminds me, it looks more like an old MS-DOS game. How do you deal with the frogs? How do you deal with the creatures in general? That doesn't make any sense. You just gotta collect flowers, huh? So that's the whole game. Well, I mean, aside from the, the gradient water that clearly nobody spent any amount of effort on. Already it's at least looking far less annoying than the Atari 2600 version. Maybe people were judging it because they just assumed that it would be like that version. Who knows? Who even knows? That's kind of weird, though. What in the world? Why is the graphic on the right... Up, onto the upper right? Why does that look like E.T. in various poses? I don't understand. Oh, okay. Is that twisting him? Is that supposed to be some kind of indication of his health? I can't even tell. It's weird. It's spinning him around. Oh, he's getting thinner. Whoops. Now I understand. It's draining him somehow. No, he just he looks just as thin when I supposedly restore it, so I don't even know. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, okay, now it's filling with bed. That's how you're supposed to know your health is getting low. So you gotta try to avoid the wildlife, huh? Good luck with that. Just in case. I don't wanna I don't wanna lose all of that. Oh boy, that's great. That's fantastic. Let's see what happens if I just completely bunk out. Well, at least it's kind of generous. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost dried. Ah, damn. Yeah, that beeping isn't going to get annoying. But granted, Pokemon and Zelda have things like that. No, no, no. no. Not going to be doing that. I'm not going to start the whole thing over from scratch. Every time something goes wrong, you know? No, you don't. Okay, that probably helps a little bit. I think what it is is you just gotta watch for their patterns and somehow cross. I don't think they're trying to deliberately go after me. I think it's that there's some kind of pattern that they adhere to and you gotta figure it out. Ow. Ouch. Ouch. Gives new context to that, doesn't it? Let's see. Ah, yes, they are on fixed patterns. I was panicking at first, and that's what caused me so much damage. I keep forgetting which buttons do what. My apologies. See, that made it look like the frog was deliberately coming towards me. Ah, dang damn it. Ah, heck. Dang damn it. Yeah, you just gotta figure out the patterns. It's not that big of a deal. But I'm gonna abuse safe states anyway, just because. I really don't have time. 
You understand, right? Now let's see. Just gotta wait for them to pass. This actually isn't that bad of a game, you know. If, if, you're, if you're very young and you just want something more casual, I guess is the word. That doesn't. That's not to say easy. It's just. It's got a casual vibe to it, you know. It's not so much hardcore action. You're basically just using pattern recognition. Huh. Look at that. There we go. Now I just need two more. Wherever they might be. There's one. Clearly I was going the wrong way. Ow! How in the world? Ah, probably that way, right? Yep. Could be wrong, though. Man, those frogs are going random places, though. One might think they're actually deliberately trying to kill me. That's just crazy talk. Like I said, it's the panicking that gets you. Just gotta realize that they are beholden to some kind of pattern. Oh, well that's just lovely. Ah, I see. Huh. Now that just makes things difficult. Somewhat. Just somewhat. Just slightly. Ah, dang it. Okay, that was a waste of time. That was a dead end. Emphasis on dead. Ah, look at that. Oh, boy. No problem. Not bad. I don't know why E.T. gets healed by the flowers. Maybe he's just devouring them or something. Maybe he's absorbing their life essence. Like, you, you just see withered flowers next to him because he, he drained them. He's like a Metroid. He just drains the bio-essence of things. Did I just make E.T. dark? I'm trying to make E.T. dark. I'm crazy, aren't I? He's a botanist because he drains the life force out of them. That's a cover. Wink, wink. Now I just gotta find the final flower to devour. That's just great. Yeah, that's right. Help? All right. Gotta go all the way around, I do. And it's kind of funny how the prequel trilogy of Star Wars has aliens on the council that look like E.T. Which means they are part of the Senate. Oh, I am the Senate. I don't even know what the hell I'm saying. Don't worry about it. Just trying to make small talk. Uh, that's great. Huh. You gotta go all the way around them. Fair enough. And it's the last flower, too. They, they make you go through hell and hell in a handbasket just to get to the last one. Fantastic. And then my health is going to get exponentially lower as I'm going through this because I don't know how to stop. E.T. doesn't exactly stop on a dime either, so that doesn't help. I wouldn't even know where that last flower is. It'd be nice to have some kind of clue, wouldn't it? I wonder why bugs kill him. I know that in the actual movie, he had to go back to his own planet to prevent from dying, apparently. But, still. How would bugs and frogs and everything else do it? it makes no sense to me. I know the reason why, because they have to make it a video game, but still, what's the actual lore reason for it, if there even is one? I'm asking for lore in an E.T. game that is most likely for kids. In fact, I am certain of it. 
I'm asking for, for complex lore, or, you know, lore of any kind, and a... And a licensed E.T. game hits. I don't know what I'm thinking. That's good old pattern recognition. Too bad it just gets me trapped. Really? They're set in just the perfect way, aren't they? To have maximum annoyance. Isn't that just wonderful? They're placed in such a way that it looks like they're... It looks like they're out to get you. Just because. Once you get away from one, the other one gets you. It's very unfortunate. Okay, what, what happens if I just happen to miss one? What happens then? Like, what the? Huh. What does this do? What does this do? Like, what the? That drains him. That purges his health. What, is it, what good does it do? I don't, I don't get it. Is there something that this actually does in my favor? I don't know what that's supposed to do that's supposed to actually help me. This seems ridiculous. Okay. Hurry up. Because those frogs will take advantage of any slight delay. Those frogs have more complex moving patterns. You can't rely on them to just go in a simple pattern. Fortunately, those bugs are another story. But unfortunately, they're placed just right to make them an, an annoyance. No, not just an annoyance, a road hazard. I honestly wouldn't know what that's supposed to do. It drains them. I don't get it. You know what? Screw it. Hang tight real quick. Oh, there it is. It was just right there. Oh, that's great. Oh, so I just have to get back to the ship? Fair enough. No problem. I would assume that's all I gotta do. I'm just taking a wild guess in the dark. A shot in the dark. I s yeah, the, the ship is right here. Good. I survived. Wait, what the? The ship just took off without him. Oh, that was the goal. In this level, you play as E.T. While collecting the samples, your crew were disturbed and the ship was taken off, leaving you stranded. You must now find a safe path out of the forest and find somewhere to hide. Collecting various items around, you you will renew your energy level, but avoid any agents. A A A V V B L R. That's the password, apparently. So now I gotta avoid agents, not just insects. Fantastic. So this is the same forest, except devoid of most things. So I guess that's convenient. Now I gotta avoid agents, which might actually be far worse. Nope, there are apparently insects. Yeah, there's some kind of insects. But now I gotta avoid agents, whatever those are. Human agents? Maybe those insects are the agents. Nah. Oh, look at that, a bridge. Because you weren't meant to go there in the flower collecting one, but now that you are meant to go this way, there is a bridge. Isn't that nice? I gotta find a passage out of the forest. Shouldn't be too hard, right? But will I do it and survive? That's another question entirely. Huh, neat. Stop. No, go away. Oh great, there are bugs here. Just not near where I thought they were. Well, at least they're fewer and farther between, so that's nice. Not having them all over the freaking place, you know? It's really nice not having them all freaking over the place. Damn you. Damn you. 
This is actually annoying. I don't know if I'm supposed to collect those or not. There is a specific number saying that I should. But I guess I'll just collect them anyway if I'm in the neighborhood, you know? May as well, right? I'm guessing all I gotta do is just yeah. find a way out of here. Did you really think that would work? Come here. Hey, you. No. Leave me alone. Yeah. Hey, you. You'll never catch me alive, coppers. Stop. What the world? Oh, okay. Stop. Hey, you. That was weird. He just sort of chokes you or something. You trying to choke you off or something? Okay, that was bad, even by my standards. I apologize Stop. for that. That was a stupid thing to say. That was... You know, I forget it, it's fine. I just apologize for how cringy that was. Oh, crap. Hey, quit doing that. Stop. Leave me alone. I guess this is the game's way of ratcheting up the difficulty by having enemies that actually chase after you. That was only the first level after all. I, I guess I should have realized the difficulty wouldn't stay the same forever. They would eventually start racketing it up. And this is where things really take a turn. Stop. Are you kidding me? Leave me alone. Stop. Stop your mother Stop. from being disappointed in you by making something of yourself. What even are these? Like yellow discs. That's right, keep dancing to the beat. E.T., keep dancing to the beat. Maybe that'll keep you alive. <laughs> not. No, it's not. Now then. What the? guy isn't particularly chasing after me. Oh, it's because he wasn't looking at me. Fair enough. Hey! Leave me alone! Stop. It's a good thing this isn't realistic. Otherwise, being grabbed might actually be a game ender. You know? Oh, fantastic! This is a dead end. Really? Oh boy. Run. Dude, run. Run for it. Run, Forrest, run! I wouldn't even know where to go. It's just a maze. And I'm not gonna say amazing either because it's not. I will say this. This game is a lot better than other games, uh, on the month of Discovery. This is probably one of the lesser offenders. I'd say this is one of the mediocre average games overall. I can see someone having fun with it. You know, if they like this kind of game. I'm not so much. I can actually see an effort in this. What? Oh, that is Stop. where it takes the piss. I take it back. I take it back all my compliments. Because if there's more than one agent near you, it's nearly impossible to get away. Okay. This is where the game goes from being mediocre to just being an ass. And nobody likes games that are asses. I mean, maybe some do, but I don't. I sure as hell don't. And I'm going to abuse save states just to get away from it. Sketchiness. Hey, you're choking me. Nobody gave you permission to do that. Wait, do they actually chase after you or are they on a pattern too? I can't even tell. I cannot tell. Stop. Nope, they're definitely not on a pattern. Hey, you. Leave me alone. But maybe once you get far enough away from where they're supposed to be patrolling, then they just give up the chase. Stop. It's kind of funny to watch. Yeah. Did you really think that would work? Again. 
It never works. Come Probably here. the most. Really? Forget you, man. Forget you, man. Come here. Why do you keep choking me? Strangling me? Come here. Come here so I can strangle you. Because I love here. doing that with weird things. I love strangling Come here. them. Good to know they employ a bunch of sociopaths who just want to strangle everything. Stop. They just want to strangle creatures at random. What the? Come here. Your mother. Get out of my face. Evidently, I have to go downward. Kinda. I think. It's all very confusing, so I don't... I wouldn't know. This looks like an area, though. An area that I might want to go to. I don't know, though. Stop. It's all very confusing. I mean, at least I'm getting more of those collectibles, so that's... probably good. I have to assume. I mean, if I don't assume, how am I gonna get past this alive, huh? Okay, so I didn't need to go down the bridge specifically, it just... all connects like one... big, happy place. Ow. Okay. Good thing I've got... I'm in good health right now. I wouldn't even know where to go, though. Very confusing. No, I didn't, I didn't actually want to pause the game. I was basically just trying buttons to see what sticks. What? Stop. You can scare them off? Let me try that. Come here. Oh, nice. You can get a booster. That's cool. Is that what those little yellow discs do? I wouldn't know. There's no indication of anything. That's funny, though. Stop. I like it. No, we have to use it strategi strategically. At the very least, you can't just abuse it. Come here. There you go. It's off already. And leave me be. You know you have some kind of way of defending yourself. That's great. Here, I thought they just... You just ran away and that's it. I really Come need to here. open my mind to new ideas. Hey, quit choking me out, man. Come you really here. need to learn how to do not do that. Quit doing that. That's messed up, man. And very rude at the same time. Your mother should be ashamed of you. With those trees, by the way. I know it's because they're low res, but it almost looks like they've got hands on them. Just me? I mean, look at that. Like right there. Right above his chest. On his shoulder. His left shoulder. It looks like a hand. Holding, gripping onto his shoulder there. There's some weird Stop. shaped trees. Leave me be! You fool. Stop. I'm gonna abuse that abuse that freaking ability and see what I can do about it. Huh. Hey. what I tell you about that? Huh, <laughs> you can actually scare him. That's funny. It's funny that they're actually intimidated by that. What, do they think that... I guess it's because E.T.'s an alien that they know next to nothing about, so for all they know, he's about to attack them and do something Stop. horrific. So he's pretending to be more threatening than he actually is. I mean, it's a survival it's a tactic. You gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Stop. Stop yourself. Stop. It's over. Leave me be. Freeze. There you go. Not only does that stun them, seemingly, but he moves faster, too. Oh, hello, it's that kid. In this level, you play as both E.T. and Elliot. So Elliot is the name. Having befriended E.T., you must find all the parts to build a transmitter and help E.T. to phone home. Transfer control between E.T. and Elliot in order to collect all the parts you need. 
Oh, is this where it turns to the Atari 2600 version? These parts are shown as tokens of which 16 must be collected to complete the transmitter. When you have all the parts, return to the bike. Fair enough. That's the password for anyone who wants to know. How do I switch control? I just mine, shift, oh, there we go. That, that's valid, I guess. I got a key, so that's cool. Oh yeah, definitely much better than the Atari 26 version, 2600 version. I don't even know what those are for, but... Darn it if I don't just want to use, just want to grab them for the sake of it. Be good. E.T., where are you going, huh? There we are. Oh great, an RC-controlled car, that is. Come rogue. That's fa that's fabulous. Th these cars have gone rogue. Oh, that's what they look like, huh? Just a P. You know, for part. How clever. Isn't that clever? Huh, another key. Nice digitized voices, too. I mean, if their intention was to base it mildly off the Atari 2600 version, I can see that. Actually, pretty interesting. This isn't bad, actually. I know I've said that before, but I think it bears repeating. Obviously, compared anything compared to the Atari 2600 version would be gold. Just by virtue of it not completely dunking on you all the time. Not forcing you into holes all the time. That alone makes it so much better, but... It's actually trying to be somewhat like the movie, and trying to somewhat be faithful to what E.T. actually is. You know? I get the sense that someone actually watched the movie when they were making this game. Yes, buddy, you phone home. As soon as we can. As soon as I find all the key buttons. Because this is apparently Mario. Did you know that? Yes, be good. Be very good. Or else. Or else the agents in the forest will strangle you. Hey, I'm not the one who made the rules here. They are. Huh. Outdoors, huh? Cool. I love how that just pushes you away. Kind of funny, that. Yes! That's the intention. As soon as we get through this maze. Which I'm probably not going to do in this video because I only got two minutes left. So I'm going to find a key and 13 parts in two minutes. That'd be incredible if I could. But let's be realistic here. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. But it was interesting while it lasted. It was a nice little curiosity. Yes, E.T. That's, that's the goal here. Do not understand how this works. Ouch. Okay, I accidentally touched it. I take it they share the same health bar, which is kind of funny. Because even when I'm playing as Elliot, it's got an E.T. health bar. Oh, well, that's, that's what you got to deal with here. That's the dealio. Yeah, it's no big deal, right? But it probably would have been nice to have an Elliot. An Elliot health bar. At least I managed to get that other key, so that's something. And I can just go over here. That's a nice little shortcut if I want to go over here in a hurry. You know, if I could actually remember where things are. Which, of course, I'm not gonna, because that would dedicate brain space. Why would I want to do that? Especially to something that's on the month of the Fool list. Even if it is, admittedly, not bad. Yes, quit saying that. That's just getting annoying now, E.T. Don't take this the wrong way, E.T. I love you, but you're getting a little annoying now. Alright, there we go. Shut up, E.T. Alright, you're getting annoying. The bug in the bathroom. You know, somehow that makes perfect sense. I can't even... I can't even dismiss that. 
kind of a weird bathroom, though, that it has this snaky corridor. It's almost like a public bathroom. Unfortunately, I'm all out of time here, so I'm gonna have to say that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around, like how badly E.T. clearly wants to, to call phone home. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and be on the lookout for Rogue RC cars. See you later. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon, or just check out the end screens right here.